guys, today I'm going to share for you a great idea. Um, I got asked by the Close Friends group um, on Facebook. I'll leave the link below if you'd like to join. It's a great group for learning new techniques, sharing your projects and doing swaps. Um, and I did get asked by a lovely lady who runs the group called Julie, J.M. Munro. Um, and Julie asked me if I could create a video basically showing you how I color my seam binding and my laces and do my coffee staining. So basically this video is going to be just different techniques that you can do to jazz up your lace when you don't want it. Basically the plain color already is. So I've tried to incorporate as much light as I can into this room. So what I'm going to use is some glimmer mist. Um, some are the ones I've made and some aren't. This one is a one that I made using alcohol inks. I used the salmon pink alcohol ink and I made that. And I used um, some eyeshadow for the mica part. For this one, I actually um, found the other day at my local scrap store some um, magicals. And I made... Lindy's basically the fuzzy navel peach so it was Lindy's oh my god I found Lindy's <laughs> I found it in the embossing powders and the mic uh, in the magical so I was really so happy about that so I can't wait I hope they get sprays in now um and the suede um so as you guys know I use a suede to death but basically we're gonna get started I've got some laces here from the lace mama and I've got some seam binding right here, some crinkle seam binding. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple techniques. The first one I'm going to show you is um, spraying. So I'm going to use this lovely piece of lace. And what I'm basically going to do, you basically just get your glimmer mist, give it a good, actually we're going to move, see? And usually what I'll do, if I'm making a big project, I'll make sure the little bits that I have left on my mat of the spray, so I'm not wasting them, I'll either dip my flowers in, I'll dip a tag in, or I'll use seam binding. So I tend to then have, I'll just grab it for you guys, a wide variety of seam binding in all different colours. So you've always got a certain colour for a certain project. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. Basically how I do it is I just spray in spots and then I just take my next colour Okay, just going to go back over because we want like a two-tone effect for this project Just keep going We really want that colour And I'm just going to go over with this last colour just for some extra sparkle. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to pick that up and I'm going to dip my seam binding in there. So basically, just throw it around and pick up every little bit that's on that mat. And sometimes, what I'll do is I'll just dip that in. And as you guys can see, there's a lovely two tone look there. Okay, actually I'm going to go over with a darker colour, darker brown, because we need some darkness in that. Okay, and this one is Woven Burlap. I can only seem to find them in the little bottles, I don't know why. If anyone knows where to get the big ones from, please let me know. Okay. So there's our two tones done. Okay, and then with your seam binding, do the same thing. And what I like to do is put my seam binding out and have a good look. If I think it needs some color in certain spots, because I like to have a variation of color. So I'll just go over and sort of spray in spots to give it a two tone look. And I'm just going to dry this up. And I'll be right back okay, with you guys. I'm all dried and this is how it turned out. I'm going to grab a white piece of paper so you can see it right up against it. And that might be a bit easier. See that colour? 
So it's got like the two-tone effect. You could have it all the one color or you could have it two colors. And the seam binding came out absolutely gorgeous too. And you can also see all those creases that I'd done. And the two-tone effect, you can really see it up against the paper. Have a look. Look at those creases. Aren't they cool? The only problem is with doing seam binding and using your off bits that are on your mat is that not always your seam binding is going to look the same. You're going to have different effects. But you don't have to just color these two using your... Um, sprays you can color them using tea coffee you can also use uh, and you can also make your teas and coffees into sprays i don't know if you guys know that but you could use your micas lumin luminaire powders your um perlex you could even use um paint just anything even gesso um gelato you know the gelatos that you get you could use them so next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get um, show you guys how I make my coffee basically to stain my lace. So what I'm going to do, the best lace to stain basically is cotton based. So what I've got is three different patterns of lace. So I've got the gorgeous laces from Lace Mama. So we've got this one, got a little off cut here. And I've got another off cut here. So what I'm basically going to do is show you guys. It's very simple. Water. Some coffee. So I'm just using this one right here. So it's just Nescafe Gold. And as you can see, it's just the grits. So I'm going to mix it in. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to. Lost my camera. Well, this isn't working very well, is it? I did have it already. Okay. Now, let me go to the little thing. So, I'm not going to use a lot, but I'm going to put in about that much. Okay. And now I'm just going to mix it all around and try to get that to dissolve in. Okay. Even on the sides. And what I like to do with my laces is leave it as long as possible. What um, Finnabar likes to do is actually use the coffee and tea that she drinks and use the tea bags to make glimmer mist. Um, or you could, what I tend to do is leave the coffee for a while. Um, until it starts to go moldy and uh, obviously I won't use it once it goes moldy but you can it can last a while and you can get quite a lot of lace stained in that time and if you want it a little bit darker add more coffee or lighter vice versa what I tend to do is um, when it's all done the thing is with washing it um, you're going to get how do I say this you're going to get like if you wash it you're going to wash out some of the color so you've got to be careful but then you don't want it st smelling too much like coffee either well it depends i guess for the person but for me i like to be careful so just um watch out you don't wash it out too much but i would bring it out a little bit once you're done but i will show you what it looks like after i've fully completed it anyway i'm going to put my lace in right now and I'm going to leave that in for a couple days and I will show you once it's all complete and you guys can see the finished product. So that's my tutorial for today and I hopefully will see you back soon and I'll show you the finished result. Share Talk to you um, the part two of the seam binding. Um, I covered it using coffee stain if you guys remember. Basically all you got to do is put coffee um, in a jar and basically soak the lace. My problem is when I soak it, I don't know if you guys know that smell, but when you've got coffee, yeah, it's nice, but after a while, that smell, I don't particularly like it. So I tend to wash my laces after I color stain them because I per don't like the smell for projects, if that makes sense. Um, but if you wash them, it does get most of that smell out. But just don't wash them too much. I hope I'm explaining that right. Um, anyway, these are the ones I coloured with coffee. And there's the seam binding. Okay. 
And these are the ones I coloured using my sprays. This brown one and this brown lace here. Okay. So a lot of the laces um, took. Some are darker colours. Some are lighter. And it just depends on the material the laces are. Nylon it won't take on. And it was pretty funny actually because this one here didn't take at all. So I hope you guys can see it. it's kind of like a dirty colour. Um, so that was really weird. But then this one took. Um, hope you guys can see the colour there. Isn't that lovely? And it was the white, if you guys remember, that I put in the pot. Um, so as you guys can see, here is the one I sprayed. Okay. And they were white. So they were like that colour. To start, that was that colour to start off with and so was that okay so even this one was white okay, I'm just going to wipe this piece of paper and that might show it up a bit better isn't that lovely um, and even here I used some craft supply one lace and that's this little fine pretty one and look at that colour, doesn't it turn out gorgeous? That's again using the coffee stain. Um, and another cream one. Even ribbon. I did this white cross green ribbon. And it's came come up a gorgeous colour. And it's got like a variation shade in it. And I even did cheesecloth. Um, what I call medical gauze. Um, and that just came up this gorgeous little colour. But there's just a ton of different variations of the shade and then you go for like a cotton crocheted one it came up the best so as you can see this is before you wash it see how it's that very dark coffee color you can also use tea um you can even make sprays out of these so that was the colored one that i sprayed using the glimmer mist and so was this one so it's a lovely color and I did the two-tone, if you guys remember, in the video. Then here is the coffee stain stuff. And this again has been lightly washed, but look at that colour. See the variation? And that was seam binding. This was a gorgeous piece I got from an invitation. A wedding that, and an invitation that we were at. But if you guys can see, look at that. Like, it just came out absolutely gorgeous. And I've also seen a video using avocado skins. Um, so there is a number of ways. It's basically just trial and error, trying different things. Even if you just, for the first time, um, cut little bits of lace of all your different ones. Or even just use those scraps that you got left over from projects. You know, you get those little off bits. Whack them in some coffee and figure out which ones die the best. And you can basically figure out from there. But I know I did try a bundle of them. And nearly all of them turned out except for that one that I showed you guys. Okay. But like, look at them all. And they just... Yeah, I just don't know how to describe them, but they're just very vintage. Even these ones came up very vintage. So it's just up to your pref your taste, I guess, and what you want to do. But I must admit, I do like the spraying better because obviously there's no smell and it can be done very quickly where these have to soak. Um, and I did leave them for two days. Um, so that's it. That's my lesson, and I think it's going to be like a 101 class. Um, I don't usually really do these type of things, but I keep getting a lot of questions asking about seam binding and colouring and my sprays and things like that. So basically, I'm going to go through, and there's probably going to be quite a lot. So if you don't, if you know a lot about sprays and you know a lot about colouring and stuff like that, this probably isn't your type of video you want to watch. But for the people that don't really know, in front of you what I've done today is, and this is on another video, I've actually coloured some seam binding and some lace using some sprays. Just basically showing how versatile it is to just make an embellishment to match any project. And what I usually do is, when I'm making a project and I've got my sprays left over, I'll always use my seam binding so I can soak up that extra stuff because what's the point of wasting it? You've paid so much for it. And you don't waste it. So each time 
I spray my seam binding, I basically, uh, each time I spray my project, I color my seam binding using it, as you can see right there. But today I used the last of my white, but that's okay, I'll have to track some more down. Okay, alright, so we'll just shove that in the bag. Okay, next what I'm going to say is this one was um, some lace from the Lace Mama, which I sprayed using two alternate sprays um, but it just comes off absolutely gorgeous I don't know if you guys can see the color there but I'll just grab a piece of paper here look at the color in it absolutely gorgeous it's like a two-tone effect love it okay so basically today I'm going to show you all the different things you can use to color lace and seam binding okay so first of all, I'm just going to get, there is a ton of things you can color seam binding with. Um, and I'm just basically going to get into it, okay? What you can do is use your jet black ink. You can put it on your ink, um, put it on your craft mat. You can then add water to it. That's one thing to color your seam binding, okay? And all these guys will have these in your stash. So there's no, that you can get them out. You can make them any color. Your chalk inks will also add an extra something to your seam binding. There is a number of chalks out there. Prima now does chalks and they're great on flowers. I don't know if you guys know that. Put them on your flowers, wet them and it'll actually bleed the colour and it just looks gorgeous. Okay. Your distress inks will also colour your seam binding. Um, again, you can put it directly to the seam binding if you want a darker look away. From, or you could just go straight to craft mat or there is another option if it's too dark the color you then add water because it reacts with water there is other options for coloring there's these new great things by Tim Holtz the distress stains in the metallics absolute gorgeous one of my favorite pr products actually just got these recently and the distress just the ordinary distress stains absolutely great for doing that and a tip is you can actually make your own glimmer mist out of these, which I'll explain later. <laughs> your re-inkers, you can also use these to color your seam binding. Um, but remember, this is more of a concentrated color. These are the more watered down version. And this one, like obviously is the ink pad version, but it is basically this one here, but a bit weaker. Okay, your gelatos is another thing that you can color. You can even make sprays out of your gelatos. You can also, um, yeah, you can make sprays out of your gelatos. You can make a paper background. You can um, highlight bits. You can even get take the cap off and what you do is just get your paintbrush, highlight things with it. So that is another tool that you can use to color your seam binding. Paint. Simple paint. If you don't have any of these pro products, most of you will have paint. Um, any paint will do. Colors your seam binding, add some water to it, and Bob's your uncle. Um, there's also more ink pads. So we've got here is just a metallic ink pad and by Dew Drop, um, and basically the same thing. Okay. You'll be surprised, your Inca Gold, which is like rub and buff. Um, here I've got it in like a green colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. What you do is you add water to them if they're dried out, because sometimes they do dry out, sometimes they don't. If you've got the bigger ones, make sure you keep the metal foil in them. And what you can do is um, keep a wet one in the bigger ones. But the, the smaller ones do add water just a little bit. Um, but you can change the consistency of it by adding water. So just be careful you don't add too much or mix it on your mat. It's up to you, but I just prefer to add it in. But you can also color your flowers using this also. So it's like a paint. Two for one. And then you can also do your metal. So Magicals. I recently found this at my local scrapbook store and I was over the moon that they had it. Um, because I 
can't get Lindy's really here and I was just so excited so they had the embossing powders and the magicals the magicals and this one is the fuzzy navel peach and this can also color your seam binding just mix it with some water and you've got a lovely color but it is quite deceiving the color in the tub isn't necessarily the color it's going to turn out the fuzzy navel is a color because I actually mix some water and you can also make your own glimmer mist with that so what I did was just add water, just water, that's it. And I'll just shake it up. And here we are. There it is. Hope you guys can see that. I'm just going to put white behind it. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. See? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that shimmer. And that's just by adding water to it. So as you can see in the tub, not the same. But once you add water to it, there's your colour. So Magicals is another one. Glimmer Mist is another one. And Glimmer Mist, as you know, comes in all sorts. You can mix them using your ink refillers. You can use Dilutions. You can use Walnut Ink by Chisico. You can use food colouring. Actual food colouring from the kitchen. You can use that and make your own sprays. And they are, are a lot like, how do I explain this? I'll spray it onto the piece of paper. But they are a lot like um, the dilution sprays. Very bright. And if you want shimmer in it, you just add your, either your eyeshadow or you can add... Um, your eyeshadow or you can just add um, pearl X or you can add perfect pearls to it and it just gives it that shimmer but I tend to use in my sprays I use alcohol um, rubbing alcohol because the thing is it just dries so much quicker with the heat gun and you don't have the heat gun on for a long time so there's that gorgeous color so that was food coloring okay so we're just gonna shove the things we've been through so there is tons of options. It's so versatile. This, okay, I love these things by Luminaire. And I swear by them. And that is the one thing I have used for ages. Before I got all my products, these are the things I used. These are called Luminaire. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Again, you can turn these into a paint. You can... Um, make glimmer mist out of them here is the glimmer mist out of this one so look at that color oh actually sorry i tell a lie here look at that isn't that gorgeous color <laughs> love it and there is the glimmer mist and i'll just show you it is gorgeous and this doesn't need to be, add any shimmer to it because your shimmer's already in it look at it isn't it lovely and look it's already drying already how awesome so you can color your flowers you seam binding so there's another option and all I've done is added um, part and there is I'm gonna have a tutorial coming up with this in it and it's just got out al alcohol ink and this and because this doesn't have a binding in it the luminaire polished pigments um, you have to add hairspray okay so that's that um, with your distress stains, while well, I remember, you can actually open them. Tim Holtz has a video on it. And you just open them, mix them with your, open the valve, pop it off, and tip it in your bottle. And just add a bit of, um, you can add water to lighten it down if you wanted to. Or just keep it the full strength. And then what you can do is just add your perfect pearls. Or you can do the same if you want a stronger color with your reinkers. And any reinkers, color box, whatever you have, you can use it. Pearl X is another one you can add to water and spray it on or you could just put it on and it gives a real metallic -y look sort of like the metallic distress stain okay I've showed you the oh this is glimmer mist again that I've made myself most of my glimmer mists are like I'll have the odd name brand and these are probably mostly my name brands but a lot of them aren't like there is glimmer mist which you guys all know I love to use my um, my suede color which I use like no tomorrow but you know it um where did I put it 
I like to use it to no end. But you know, the thing is too, you can use anything. It's so versatile and I just love sort of making my own concoctions now. And you know, you can make them whenever you want basically. You know, you've got the options. There is plain glimmer mist you can use. There is food colouring again. That's another food colouring option that I've made. There is a thing called Perfect Pearl Mist, which is just pretty much not much colour, just more a mist. There is also a thing called Twinkling H2Os. This is very similar to Twinkling H2Os. Again, you add water to them and they're sort of like a watercolour paint and you can colour. Even watercolour paint you can colour, you see, binding with. So there is tons of options. Smooch spritzes. You know, I've given you a ton of options for colouring your seam binding, so be sure to go and try it all out and let me know how you go. And if you ever make a project using any of my techniques, please send me a picture or let me know and I will love to see it and comment and see your videos. And I'll talk to you later.